Yahweh for that wonderful word. Amen. Yeah. That is Corinthian. 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 Amen. That was 6, verse 17. Y'all may be seated. Amen. I want to thank Abba Yahweh for that wonderful word. To understand Amen. that when we belong to Him, we're bought for a price. Amen. Yes. And that means that we don't go in lies, we don't go in thievery, we don't go in whoredom, we don't go in adultery, homosexual, fornication, no or no sin whatsoever. We have to keep our minds and our bodies and our souls for cleansed. If we want to make it into the kingdom, we you sure how to say it. Amen. Because there ain't none of that going to make it into the kingdom. No, no evil, no wickedness, no nothing, no sin is going to make it into the kingdom. Amen. So we better get a good understanding of that. Amen. It's going to take complete obedience to Torah, to the, to the Bible. Amen. Yes, hallelujah. Amen. And I know a lot of people get mad because... Like we speak the truth, we speak what the Bible says, and when we speak what the Bible says, what, what the Torah says, then people get angry, people get mad, because they don't want to go by what Torah says, they don't want to go by what the words of Yeshua says, amen. But that's what we always say we can live by, we got to live by every word that comes out of the mouth of Yeshua HaMasei, amen. I'm not worried about what man says, it's not about what I say, amen, it's not about what she says or he said no, the only no. thing that matters is what does Yeshua say and not what, what does the Bible or what does the Torah tell us Amen. what is Yeshua's word that's the only thing that really matters because that's what we're going to make it into the kingdom on is by the word of Yeshua HaMaseh yes. Amen we got to live up what a Kadash life yes. and no other life that we can live but we don't want to go to that burning hell yes. Amen I am. Amen. Yeah. You know, I thank I'll be Yahweh for that word. Amen. Yeah. Now we know a lot of people today are calling this the what they call it Good Friday. That's 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 one of those pagan lies. Amen. Mm-hmm. Pagan lie, paganism, pagan Easter. Amen. Yeah, yes, Amen. All in, uh, these pagan holidays that mankind has come up with. And really, when I say mankind, most of these so-called holidays are brought up by the Roman Catholic Church, by the popes of the past, amen, the Roman Catholic Church brought these holidays uh, up, amen. Because you got to understand that the Roman Catholic Church, and I'm talking against the Roman Catholic Church, because they're the one that everybody is drinking that cup of wine from, by the Mother Babylon's hand, and the Roman Catholic Church is Mother Babylon. You know, what the Roman Catholic Church says, that's what most of the people want to go on, and, and believe it, and they'll, and they'll live by it. Amen. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll kill you, or, or try to kill you, or stone you for speaking against the Roman Catholic Church. Amen. Against the Pope. Amen. But those are demons. I don't care what you say, I don't care what you come up here, I don't care if Inquisition or uh, whoever they got, you know, come up against us and stuff like that, or come up against me. I'm going to still speak what thus says the Lord. Gotcha. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Gotcha. That's for us to go to give warning. And what we preachers are supposed to do, we're supposed to give warning, warn the people of their uh, dooming ways. Amen. Yes. Simple and wicked ways. Warning yes. that if you continue on in your simple, evil, and wicked ways, that you will end up in that what burning Amen. hell. Amen. If you don't want to go to hell, you want to stop doing evil. Amen. You got to repent. Of all our sins, all our wicked doings, and get it right. Yes. Amen. Yes. We gotta get it right. Amen. Sure. And I know a lot of times there's some consequences for getting it right. And I tell you, you know, I'm reminded of a story that my wife told me about her big mama. Amen. That she had been, you know, a big mama who's, you know, uh, uh, had been doing wrong, but that the big mama got saved and stuff like that, right? She went to the woman that she had been... She called. She called the woman, amen. She called the woman up and said, look, you know, I have been done such and such with your husband and I am so sorry that I ever did such this thing. Amen. Amen. That's what we call a, a true repentance, amen. Yes. Amen. She knew there might be consequences behind it, but she went up there and cleared her heart 
and got her mind straight, amen, yes, with the Lord, amen, amen. with Ella Him. Amen. She got it right before Him. Yes, and, and see, that's the thing that we got to do. We had to get it right, amen, before I be out. We done finished. Somebody says, go ahead. Go to your brother. Huh? Go to your brother. Get it right with him before you leave it at the altar. Yes. You got to give for the bring to the that you want to give and stuff. So leave it at the altar and then go get it right with your brother first. And saying your brother is your sister too. Amen. Go get it right with whoever you offended or whatever, whoever you done done wrong. Get it right with them first. Yes. Amen. And after you got it right with them, then you come to the altar and you bring your gift. Now you say, what happened if the person don't want to get it right with me? Well, you done did your part. Amen. You only can do your part. That's right. Amen. We got to do what? Our part. Amen. Amen. And so that's why it's so important that we get it right with the scriptures, with the word of Yeshua Hamasei. We want to make sure that we're getting it right. Amen. Amen. Now they say that this is Good Friday. I'm talking about Good Friday. Let's get it right. Let's get an understanding. Yes, why do they call it Good Friday? They say this is the day that Yeshua Hamasei was crucified. They were put on the cross, amen. That they hung him on that cross. And what they like to say he was put cross with the torture stick that Yeshua was hung on. And, and they said that he rose on Sunday morning. Huh? Now, see, now they like to go up there and quote scripture. So I'm going to go to uh, Luke, Lucas 24 and 6. Amen, Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. Well, back up to the 26 and 5. Well, I'll just start off at 24 and 1. I'll, I'll just go 24 and 1. Everybody got it? Page. Mm -hmm. 24 and 1, page 1026. 1026. Lucas. I'm going to start at 24 and 1. <coughs> <coughs> I'll be Yahweh, we come before you saying thank you, I'll be Yahweh, we give you the thanks and we give you the glory. Thank you for allowing us to be here this day, I'll be Yahweh. And we're asking you, I'll be Yahweh, to purify our hearts and purify our minds and our souls, I'll be our way, and give us understanding of thy word and of thy truth, I'll be our way, that we might be able to do as you say, live a Kadash life as you have told us to, I'll be our way, and that we will walk in your truth, I'll be our way, that you give us understanding of your truth, of your word, I'll be our way, so that we will not be deceived, I'll be our way, also that we don't, I'll be our way, do things against your will, I'll be our way. Unknowingly, I'll be our way. Help us to know everything that we're doing, I'll be our way. Help us to yes. have that clear and perfect mind, I'll be our way. By putting our faith and our trust in you, I'll be our way. For all things, I'll be our way. But we know, I'll be our way. Man can teach the word wrong, I'll be our way. But we know that your word is right. Your Torah is right, I'll be our way. Yes. That you are the Elohim of truth. And you're not an Elohim of lies and of deceit, I'll be our way. And of cover ups, I'll be our way. But you are right there before us, I'll be our way, telling us your ways and your truth, I'll be our way. And we ask you, give us clarification. Give us yeah. a heart and mind to say exactly and do exactly as you say, I'll be our way. We thank you. We thank you for your words and we thank you for your truth. In the Kadash name of Yeshua Hamasai, we do say amen and amen. Amen. I give honor to my fellow him. Yeshua Hamasei, I give honor to our Yahweh, I give honor to my Isha, amen, I give honor to her, I think I'm, I'm a Baruch man, because I have a wonderful woman, I tell him, amen, by my side, I thank, I thank, I thank El for her, amen, I thank El, amen, for Mother of the Big amen, I thank you for her, amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. You, you can let my wife have it. That's right. You don't want to let, let my wife have it. Amen. Right. Amen. She'll wear this. She'll wear stuff like you. Okay. Then give it to me. Then give it to her. We'll show you. <laughs> Amen. We thank Abby Yahweh for having been yes. here with us today. Amen. <laughs> We thank God be our way for all the faithful viewers. Amen. 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 We just thank uh, those that will be viewing us later on. Amen. Um, when these videos come out. Amen. We try to get them out as soon as possible. But we thank Elohim for them. Amen. 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 We have so much to be thankful for. I know I'm thankful to be here. Uh, in the right mind. Amen. The mind that wants to serve. Elohim, I'll be Yahweh, well, my heart, mind, and soul. And I want to make sure that when I say I serve Him, that I serve Him in Kadash or in holiness. I want to make sure that I'm serving Him in, in truth, you know. Because it says that you know, when we love Him, then we're going to worship Him in spirit and in truth. Amen. And so I want to do everything that's pleasing to Him. He's not, uh, when you say spirit and truth, that means all truths. Yes. Amen. Nothing you know, nothing false, no lies, no deceit, nothing false. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so that's why I want to make sure that I give him the praise and give him the glory. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. You know, I, I, you know, a lot of people say, well, you just hate holidays, you hate the holy days. No, mm -hmm. the devil is a lie. Amen. Amen. I enjoy Amen. celebrating Amen. and yes. worshiping and, and uh, our, our El and our, uh, and our Melchim, uh, our Lord and King, Amen. Of all my heart, all my mind, all my soul, Amen. I want to worship Him and I want to give Him the praise, you know, for all that I have, Amen. Yes, because Lord. I want, because He's good to me, Amen. He's wonderful to me, yes, yes. Amen. And so, you know, I know that for a fact that I owe Him what everything. Everything. You know, so I, I know that I, there's nothing, I, and I mean absolutely nothing that I can do on my own. There's nothing I can do without Him. Amen. 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 Nothing. Hallelujah. You know, because if you don't give me the breath, if you don't keep the blood coursing through my body, there's nothing I can do. If you don't give me air, there's nothing I can do. No, sir. If He doesn't wake me in the morning, Amen, there's nothing I can do. I just lay there. You know, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do a thing. Amen. Amen. If you don't, if you don't put strength in my limbs and, 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 uh, with my body to move, I can't move. I'll just be there. Amen. Amen. He can give me a breath, but if you don't put strength in my limbs to move and stuff like that, I'll just be there. I'll just be a vegetable. I'm right there and can't move. Amen. So I want, I want, I want everybody to understand that I am totally, uh, absolutely sure that I need Elohim for everything. Everything. And I know I owe him everything. That's what come on to make sure that I don't allow the adversary to double to trick me to going against the one that I owe so much to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. I don't owe Satan nothing. I don't owe yeah. the devil nothing. Amen. Yes. Amen. The devil don't do nothing for me. He wants me to go to hell with him. Yes. Amen. Yes. And to suffer in hell with him. Amen. Right. And no, 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 no. There's nothing here on this earth. There's no silver, no gold, no money, no women, no nothing. That, that in your house, I don't care what you want to promise me with, that I want to go to hell for. Amen. Amen. There's nothing. Amen. Nothing for Amen. And I, I want to make that perfectly clear. Amen. I have a wonderful issue that she wants enough for me. Amen. All, 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 all the woman that I need right there. Amen. One, one, one complete package right there. Amen. 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 She won't enough to even give me trouble sometimes. Amen. 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 But I appreciate it. Amen. 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 I think I think but I thank you sure. Amen. Yes, yes. And but I'm saying all of this because it's so important, at least to me. Did I do everything that's pleasing to him? Yes, Lord. Amen. 
And I want to make sure that, and I can't do it in the way that I think that's pleasing to him. I got to do it the way that Torah tells me that's pleasing to him. Amen. Uh -huh. yeah. He tells me, you know, that it's pleasing to him. Yes. Amen. I just can't kind of do something up in my mind and, and think that, okay, well, uh, uh, it sounds good. It looks good. So I'm going to do this for him. Uh -huh. Amen. And so, uh, you know, uh, okay. if I do it that way, then I'm getting in trouble. Amen. Because everything Amen. that looks good is not good. Amen. Okay, everything Amen. that looks good is not good. Amen. Amen. And, and, and everything that we do, that we say is pleasing to us to do for Yeshua, is not pleasing to Yeshua. Amen. Okay, and Yeshua does not have it. He, he is the Elohim of all truth. Yes, He is. And He, don't, and he, and he tells us, Beyond a shadow of a doubt, that a lie is an abomination unto him. Yes. In other words, he truly detests a lie. Yes. Amen. I am. Amen. He hates. He hates a lie. You know, he hates a lie. You Amen. know, Amen. He, he hates untruths. Yes, he does. Amen. Amen. Good. I mean, he hates it. Yes, he does. Amen. Uh, and and to put enough emphasis on that hatred of a lie. I cannot put it in in the words that need to describe how much he really detests and hates the lie. Can't express it enough. I can't express it enough. Amen. Amen. But trust me, you do not want to be found to become be a liar in his eyes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't want to be found to be a liar in his eyes. No, sir. Amen. And so any time that we participate with a lie, that makes us what a liar. And he does it, he hates it, he hates liars with all yes, being. Yes, he does. Amen. He finds a liar what truly detestable. Amen. Amen. So that's how come that when we decide that we're gonna celebrate, we're gonna do something that we must go ahead on and dissect that and make sure that it's all right with our Yahweh. That's right. That, that it's truth that we're doing. Amen. Mm -hmm. And not a, a yeah. part of the devil to deceive the masses of the people. Amen. 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 Now, we can start off with this Good Friday, mm. which people like to call it Good Friday. Amen. And they're trying to say that Yeshua HaMaseyed was on the cross on Good Friday and rose on a Sunday morning. No, no, Wednesday. And they're going to try to tell us, and they'll tell you, that's for three days and three nights. No, 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 no. Now, I don't know. Wrong. As I keep on telling people, you know, I may not be a mathematician, I may not be the smartest man in the world, amen. I, I, I'm pretty close, I'm running pretty close to being one of the dumbest beings in this world. No, you're not. Okay. But I do have the capacity, I do have the capabilities of counting to three. Hey, <laughs> glory. Come on, Jesus. Okay. Come on. I do, I can do that much. I can count to three. Amen. Amen. Seven, two, I, know how to, I know how to count three days and three nights. I can count three days and three nights. Now, as far as I'm concerned, it's totally impossible for me to count three days and three nights from this evening to Sunday morning. Can't do it. I cannot do it. Nope. Okay, I cannot get three days and three nights out of it. Now, Yeshua says that I'm going to be in, the, in, in Matthew 24, 12 and 24, I believe it is. Matthew, let's go to Matthew 12 and 24. Matthew Yahoo 12 and 24. First. Keep your fingers over here on loop now. Let's go 12 and 40. 
many of you twelve or forty, I'm sorry, people. Uh-huh. Okay, twelve or forty, okay. And you see what they were asking for was a sign. I'm gonna go up one, okay, and get us a picture of what's going on, amen. And the people were the Pharisees were gasping for a sign and they you know wanted to know when was the end coming and stuff like that, amen. And here it goes right here. He says in uh, 39, he says, But he answered them, but he answered and said to them, A wicked and adulterous generation seeks after a sign, and no sign shall be given to it except the sign of the Nabi Jonah, which is uh, the, the, the prophet Jonah, Jonah. Amen. He said, Nothing but this sign will be given to the people in the last days. Amen. He says, For as Yonah was three days and three nights in the stomach of the great fish, so shall the being of Adon be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Now in your King James Version of the Bible, King James is going to say, that as Jonah was in the belly of the well for three days and three nights, so shall the Son of Man be in the, the bowels of the earth, for, in the grave of the earth for three days and three nights. See, three, now he says himself that he's going to be in the grave for what? Three days and, and three, three nights. nights. He's going to be in the mouth of the earth for three days and three nights. Okay? Three days. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing that we can say for absolute is that Yeshua is not a liar. Amen. 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 That he is not a liar. He's not a thief. No, I, I'm going to read that part over there. And uh, I'm going to King James was. Amen. Now, make sure we got an understanding of it. It's, it's a Amen. Now, I'm going to... Uh, Matthews 12 and 40. So I'm going to start at 39 here. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall be no sign be given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Amen. Amen. So we know right then and there that Yeshua is going to have to be in the grave, in the belly of the world, for three days and three nights. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing, else, nothing else matters except that part right there. We're not going to get into the days, whether it was Sunday morning or Saturday, whatever not, that's right now at this particular time is not important. The important part is that he has to be in the grave, in that tomb, for three days and three nights. Three whole days. Three whole days and three nights. Mm -hmm. Not two and a half days, not two and a half nights. Anything else is going to be a lie. Amen. Whether it be less, if it's less than three days and three nights, it's going to be a lie. If it's more than three days and three nights, it's going to be a lie. Amen. Amen. Right. So, so he has to call, see, you're sure it's not a lie. But what he says, what comes out of his mouth, it's got to be done exactly the way he says it, or, or it's wrong. Yes. Amen. 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 Now, for a fact, you're sure it's not wrong. Amen. For a fact, he's not alive. Hallelujah. So who come up with this good 
try these things. What the Roman Catholic Church, the Pope came up with? The adversary. The adversary. It's a, it's a what? It's a lie. It's a lie. See, right off the bat, we find out that they're telling a lie. Amen. Amen. Yeah. It's just a plain, outrageous lie. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So now, if you find yourself celebrating this lie, then you are a partaker of the lie, mm -hmm. and you're not walking in what truth. Truth. Amen. Yeah. You might say, well, everybody else is doing well. You know, everybody else that wants to do it, wants to go ahead and do it, they're, they're, they're participating in a lie, and all liars will find their part where? In, in the, the lake, lake of fire. fire. Now, if you don't believe that all liars will not will find their part in the lake of fire, let's go to uh, Revelations. 21 and 8. Well, thank you, Apostle. Let's go to 20, Revelation 21 and 8. Now I'm going to go in the But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters, idolaters. and what? All, all liars. All, all liars. Mm -hmm. Okay? All liars mm -hmm. shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. Which, Which is, is the second, second death. death. Yes. Now all lies. All lies. Now you can continue on lies. telling lies and being a part of the lie if you so choose. But remember that when judgment day comes, you're going to be found guilty of lying. And you get found guilty of lying, you're going to have your part, not in the kingdom of with Yeshua HaMaseh, not in the kingdom of heaven, but you're going to find you have your part in the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're going to what? That burning hell. Yeah. Amen. The people wrong too. See. Whether you be teacher, whether you be preacher, uh, preacher, whether you be the Pope, whether you be a bishop, whether you be an apostle, whatever title, whatever namesake that you want to go up there and call yourself if you're teaching this abominable lie, come on, you will find yourself in the lake of fire. Amen. Right. That's the word. He Amen. The word. Now we saw in Matthew where Yeshua said that he's going to be what in the belly of the earth for three days and three and nights. Night. In the mouth of the word earth for three days and three and nights. Twelve and forty. Okay. Now we're gonna go back to Lucas. Lucas chapter twenty-four. Chapter twenty-four. And what? And what? It says, and on one of the Shabbat or Sabbath, at early dawn, they came to the tomb. Be bringing the spices which they had prepared, and they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. See, that was that Sunday morning. Amen. And having entered, they did not find the body of Adon, Yahweh Shua. They didn't find the body of Yeshua, how I say He was gone. Okay. He had fled the scene. Yes, nothing was nothing there to discover except this burial cloth, the cloth that they had buried him in. The shroud. He says, And it came to be 
as they were perplexed about this, in other words, they were disturbed, they were troubled, they didn't have any understanding, they didn't understand what was going on, you know, because they had truly forgotten what he had told them, you know, because, see, they are mind, you know, they hear people talking about, you know, they heard him saying that, you know, hey, look, you know, I got to die, I'm going to die, and, and in their mind that he was dead. They were not thinking about a, 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 a resurrection. Amen. You know, they were saying, hey, look, you know, we got to go up there and prepare his body and stuff like that. They were looking for a body to prepare. Amen. You know, they wanted to go ahead and anoint him to spices and stuff like Amen. that, you know. Uh, and prepare him, you know, for, uh, as they do for the dead, you know. See, there's a lot of people still doing that same thing. Mm -hmm. See, they're looking for a dead to shoot. They, 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 they think that they're serving a, 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 a dead man. But see, we're not serving a dead of him. Hallelujah! The eye of him is alive. Amen. And he's begging us today to walk what in all of his truths. Yes. To walk in Kadash, to walk yes. in to walk in on the highway of Kadash yes. at all times. Amen. To walk in the spirit yes. of Yeshua Hamasai. Amen. Amen. Because he wants to lead us and guide us, but in all, all of truth. his truths. Yes. Amen. Not apostles, all. but all truths. See, a, see, apostle truth is a lie. Yes, it is. It's a possible, it's just possible truth. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Thank you, I'll be our way. Amen. And he says, And it came to be, as they were perplexed about this, that see, the men stood by them. Two and Two men, thank you. See, two men stood by them in glittering garments. And become frightening and bowing their faces to the earth. These said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? Glory, come on. See, you know, why do you seek the living among the dead? Why are you here in this tomb? Huh? Why are you here at the grave? So, you know, he's not dead. Hallelujah. He's amongst the living. Yeah. Cause see, we don't serve a dead Elohim. No, sir. We don't serve a dead El. Hallelujah. We serve the mighty and living Elohim. Hallelujah. That's whom we serve. Yeah. That's whom we supposed to be served. Amen. Uh, so Elohim, what is a all truth, all not right. a partiality, not of lies. See, people want to get mad at you when you tell them about these pagan holidays that they're yeah. serving. They get mad and they get angry yeah. because you try to tell them the truth about these things. All right. But that's fine, too. You can get mad and get angry all you want to. You know. Because, you, you know, if you want to do your Easter egg hunt, go ahead on. That's why I offer a lot of trouble just to have a boiled egg. Amen. I want to boil egg. I just boil my egg and you know and go ahead on eat it. Put a little salt on it, a little pepper on it, and go ahead on eat it and enjoy Amen. it. I ain't got to put no color on it. Just go ahead on and and, and, and you know to have, enjoy me a boiled egg and stuff. You know. I, I like chocolate candy too. I love chocolate. Okay. I ain't got to wait for no 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 Easter to come and give me some chocolate candy. I can go to store by me for chocolate candy. Thank you, sir. Now. You know, I, 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 I've been around for 70 years now. I, I know I got limited knowledge and I don't know everything, but as of these 65 years, at least you know I'm beginning to understand a little bit of something about life. So I give 67, uh, 63 years, something like that. You know, I say seven, when I was seven years old, I'm beginning to understand a little things about life. I, I have never unseen or ever heard of a rabbit laying eggs. Now I have not found that. And chocolate eggs at that, you know. Cause if I find one laying chocolate eggs, I'm gonna keep that rabbit. You ain't gotta worry about going to the stew pot. <laughs> Man. 
Amen. See? See, mix of all types of fairy tales and all types of lies, this is what they want to go up there and recognize Yeshua Hamaseah with, you know. You got, you know, see, the rabbit represents fertility. That means having birth, you know. It recognizes the spring and stuff like that, you know, where everything's supposed to be made anew, refreshing, amen. But you see everything budding again. And so that's why they call it that what the Easter, the renewing, amen. And see, you sure it's not about the life. Amen. Amen. It's about the resurrection, about the life. Yes. And they want to go up there and see the early Romans and Greeks and all that, they used to go up there and, and recognize the spring with all this, with their, their images and the rabbits and the rebirth and stuff like that. They used to have, uh, they used to serve gods that had the image of a pregnant woman, Asherah, you know, and they used to have so the man's private parts and, and had images that they go up there and would worship this and worship that, you know, the private parts of a male, you know, and the private parts of a woman. They would go up there and worship these things. And see, these are evil. You know, those are what a sexual connotation behind it. It says, why do you seek the living among the dead? You sure had what with was gone. Mm -hmm. Number six. He is not here. He is not here. But has been raised up. Remember how he spoke to you when he was still in Galilee? He said, remember how he spoke to you, how he taught you that, you know, you're going to be in the belly of the well for three days, I mean belly of the earth for three days and three nights, and Jonah was in the belly of the well for three days and three nights, remember how he said that he had to do this, he had to go through this? In other words, he was talking about his, his death, amen, and that he knew that Abba Yahweh was going to his father, the father was going to what, raise him up? He was going to be raised from the grave, he was going to be raised from the dead? Don't you remember he told you all these things? But see, people don't believe the words that are being spoken to them. You, know, you tell people today, you know, hey, okay, then do this and do that, and, 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 and things will be well with you and stuff like that. And people will hear what they want to hear, and they say, well, I don't think I have to do this. I don't think I'm going to, uh, uh, this is going to happen. I'm going to do it my way. And I'm not going to do it the way that the Bible says or the way that, that the Word of God comes out and says. I'm not going to do it that way. Then we find ourselves what, in trouble. In trouble. We find ourselves in trouble every time. See, that's why it's so important that we hear and pay attention to the Word. A lot of people think that, well, hey, you know, I can lie, I can steal, I can cheat, I can be a homosexual, I can be an adulterer, I can be a fornicator, and I'm going to go up there and make it into the kingdom. Amen. You know, you can do those things if you so choose, but understand that you're not going to make it into the kingdom. You're not saved. You're not true. Amen. I keep on bringing up our children, but see, our children, they, they've been taught. Amen. They do the things that they want to do and stuff like that. You know, they're of age to do what they so choose to do. But at least they know that, hey, you know, that's what they don't, they don't pray, they don't say that they say. They don't say that they, you know, uh, 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 you know, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't play with you, sure. They don't play with God. They don't play with them. Amen. They say, we do what we do. We've been taught. We know. We want to, our point is, is that we want to make sure that you know the truth. You can do what you want to do because we can't make you do anything. Nothing. Amen. Amen. You do whatever you want to do. We bring forth the word. We tell you what, what thus says the Lord. We tell you what's going to happen to you. Amen. Amen. You know, if we obey the word, we can make it into the kingdom. If we don't go obey it, uh, if we don't obey the word, we will not make it into the kingdom. We sure how I said it. It's impossible. Amen. Amen. 
And so we had to, I, want, I want everybody to have an understanding. You know. And I make, we don't make people come to church. Come to the hell camp. Miss Camp. Amen. We're not, hey, we're not holding a gun to you and say, obey this word, obey this word, obey this word. No, That's your choice. It's a choice. It's a choice that you have to make. Yes, sir. Amen. If you want, if you have to decide where you want to go. You have to decide where you want to spend eternity. Hallelujah. Amen. So true. We cannot choose for you where to spend eternity. No, sir. Amen. We, we, hey, we give you, this is the word. This is what the word says. Now, now, if you want it, you eat it. If you don't want it, you push it aside. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's your choice. Amen. Amen. See, if you come here, the only thing we can do is tell you what thus says the Lord. What the Lord. What does Torah say? Yes, I don't sir. care if you're a pastor, you can be the Pope, Bishop, whatever not. But we have to tell you what thus says the Lord. What does the Torah say? What does the Word of God say? Mm -hmm. See? See, it goes for us. Yes. See, yes, if we don't obey, if we don't do what the word says, if we don't we'll obey to it, we'll end up going to that burning hell and also. Burning hell. Yes, sir. Amen. Exempt. Nobody's exempt from the word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Most yeah. definitely not. Because you sure says I'm a chief apostle. I, if I don't obey his word, I will just be a chief apostle going to hell. Amen. Amen. Got to obey even more so. Yeah. Show I have to, I, I, I'm under charge to obey the word. That's right. How you have a call and move People may not understand that, but the sovereign Dawit or King David, he had to obey the word too. Jesus. You know, now we know that King Dawit or sovereign Dawit was a man after Yeshua's heart, amen? And he, that, that Yeshua truly loved in him. But when thou would send it, he had to pay the price, he had to pay. He had to pay for his sins, he was punished for his sins. Yes, he was. He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't get away with anything. No, sir. Amen. Nobody. He did not get away with it. Now, one time he didn't give three choices, you know, you had to you choose your punishment. <coughs> Amen. Amen. But with us today, we don't get a chance to choose our yeah, we do we get a chance to choose our punishment. We get a chance to choose our punishment. Whether we're gonna go to heaven or hell. Curse and a blessing. Yes. Amen. Yeah. We can choose we can choose the, the, the Baruch or the blessings. Or we can or we, we or we can choose the curse. That's right. Going to hell. We, our, the choice is ours. Yes, it is. Amen. Of what we want. But we, if we want life, if we want eternal life, then we have to choose the barakas or the blessings mm -hmm. and obey the commandments, the mitzvahs, the statutes, and yes. the law. We must obey Torah. Yes. There's no other way. Amen. Don't go up there and tell, tell people that, hey, I, I live by what our church said because it, the church is not, the only thing we're saying, ask the church, ask the miscount, the only thing we're saying is what Torah says. You just tell people, we got to go by what Torah says. Yeah, right. You're not going by what the apostle says because the apostle is not saying anything. I'm just repeating what Torah says. Amen. When the apostle she teaches and preaches, she's not saying what she says. No, sir. She's teaching what, what Torah says, what Elohim says. That's it. That's it. Amen. Yes. We speak what thus says the Lord. Yes. Amen. Now it comes it come, it come to you hard, it comes to us hard. Sure enough. It comes to us hard. Yes, it does. Oh, yes. See, why? Because we got to obey. We gotta obey the truth. We gotta yes. obey the word. Mm -hmm. Amen. If we choose in life, we do. And I choose life. Life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you. He says, "Don't see. He's not here, but has risen. Has raised, been raised up. Remember how he spoke to you when he was still in Galilee, saying the being of Adam." 
has to be delivered into the hands of what? Of sinners? And be impaled? And the third day, rise again? He spoke these things that were going to happen to him. Huh? He said, the third day, he has to rise again. But people what? Did not take heed to what he was saying. And they remember his word. Then they remember what he said. Mm -hmm. You know, after they had been brought forth to them. <sighs> and having returned from the tomb, they reported all this to the eleven and all the rest. And it was Miriam from Mac Magdala and Yohanan and Miriam of Yerka of Judah and the rest with them who told this to the emissary. They told it to the rest of the apostles or the emissaries, the, the messengers of Yeshua HaMaseya. The women's came and told them. See. The word has to be brought forth and then they begin to see and begin to understand. Yeah. See. See, Satan didn't want this to come about. If Satan knew that this was going to come about, he would have let Yeshua live. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't have tried to kill him. Why did he kill him? See, so everything had to happen. Everything that Yeshua spoke, everything that Abba Yahweh spoke, it has to come to pass. It has to come to Forbearing. It has to come to truth. Yes. It has to come to existence. Amen. It has to come to being. Yes. Come to life. Amen. Amen. Can be nothing false about the word. Amen. The word has got to be spoken in truth. See, if it's not spoken in truth, Guess what? It's a lie. It's a lie. Yes. He, you sure did not say, worship me in spirit and some truths. All truth. Yes, sir. See? You know, you might think that this, this ministry is hard. You might think the words are hard, but the words are not hard. Mm -mm. You know? Not if you want to be saved. See? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not concerned about hurting people's feelings. Amen. Concern about that, well, get the truth. If the truth hurts your feelings, then your feelings are just going to be hurt. Amen. That's the truth. Because we have to preach, we have to teach, we have to live truth. Amen. Yes. Okay, I can't live no other way. Amen. Yeah, you said about you ain't going to preach. Yeah. Okay. Got to preach it. He says, And their words appeared to them to be what nonsense, and they did not believe them. The emissaries didn't believe. They had a lot of non believers. Didn't believe that the words were true. They didn't believe that Yeshua had risen. You know, they were right there listening to the words of Yeshua. See, that was saying, a lot of people just did not believe the truth that he spoke, that these things were possible. You know, you know, when somebody dies, you're not looking, hey, hey, so see them get up again? Amen. Now, I tell you, I'm going to tell you something. Now, I, and I think about, you know what he sure did for me when he got me off that that uh, cooling, uh, off that, that dying table when I had my tooth pulled that time when I had died and stuff like that. If do you think that if if I had known that I was gonna die by getting on that table by by, by going to the dentist that day, do you think I would went to the dentist that day? Huh? Hey, no. I don't think I would have went. 
Even though that I know that he got me up right now, get, you know, got me up. I know he got me up because I'm here. But it's just the, the truth. If I had known that I was going to die that day, I wouldn't have went. We don't ever know how we're gonna leave. But see, you sure knew what was gonna happen to him. And I am. He knew that he had to die in order for us to what? To yeah. be saved, to live, to have life. And to have life more abundant. He gave his life up. Yes, yes, he did. He yeah. took the torture, he took the pain, just so that we would have the opportunity to have life. And that's some kind of love there. And I don't understand how people can just go head on and just take that so lightly. How can you just take so lightly and just kick it to the side? Like it don't mean nothing. Oh, he had to die for me. Yeah, he had to die for us to have life. That was the choice he made. By how much he loved us. Amen. That he was just going to that burning hell. Amen. And like I said, I hope we may see. Number 12. But Kepha arose and ran to the tomb, and stooping down, he saw the linen wrappings lying by themselves, and he went away home, marveling at what took place. And see, two of them were going that same day to a village called Amanus, which was sixty stadios from Jerusalem. And they were talking to each other of all this which had taken place. And it came to be as they were talking and reasoning that Yahweh Shua himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were restrained so they did not know him. They didn't recognize him. They didn't hear Yeshua walk right with him and they didn't recognize him. Amen. God, you sure could blind our eyes. That's come and say, tell us, you know, be careful on how we entertain people, how we entertain strangers. Yes. You know, because one of the strangers you could be entertaining could be you sure how much say it. See? Or could be one of his angels, one of his messengers. Yeah. You know, but you want to treat people with disdain and want to treat them with some kind of, you know, ill feelings or with hatred, meanness. See? Now, can we have to treat everybody with what? Holiness, kadash. Yes, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. And see, there's three days and there's three nights. Amen are so important that we continue to obey the living word of Yeshua HaMaseh remember what he says and do it just the way that he says to do it to live a life because we do know one thing for certain that he what he rose yes he did and we know that he is not going to lie we know that he was in the grave for three days and three nights yes. and we can go to the book of Daniel 9, chapter 9, I believe it is. And it says that it tells us in that book that mm -hmm. Yeshua has to be 
It will rise in the midst of the week. In the middle of the week is what? On a Wednesday. On Wednesday. And you count back three days, three nights in the Jewish time, and you get your three days and your three nights, and know that Yeshua did rise on a Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. After the Shabbat, do a count. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And I know that we said something. Do you have anything else that you'd like to yes. say? I know we said something that would help us make it to the kingdom. Hope we get a little bit more understanding about this Easter. Yes, sir. Amen. That is uh, pagan holidays and also that these months, you know, uh, we call it Pesach and pa the Passover. And they, and they got these months all mixed up and messed up and everything like that. We already had Pesach. A amen. Mm -hmm. We're going to be in. It's been already. And then, so, you know, again, this is not no Easter Sunday. It's not even the Passover, you know, uh, this time. Amen. We're going to be saying it on the TV. Peace out. See? And we know what, that's why they say it on the TV. Some of them call it peace out and some of them, but it's not. Because timing is all. Amen. We got to do everything on Yeshua's time, on Yahweh's time. Amen. So we know that we said something to help us make it to the kingdom. Amen. So we'll just take heed to the word and live it and be a doer of the word. Hallelujah. Amen. This has been Pure Gospel of Jesus Christ Messianic Community. We invite you to attend services with us. We have services on Friday evening at the beginning of the Sabbath at 6 p.m. We also have it on Sabbath day, Saturday morning at 11 a.m. We're located 4935 U.S. Highway 84, Frisco City, Alabama, 36445. If you care to write us, if you want to send in an offering or donation, uh, you may mail it to Pure Gospel, Jesus Christ, Messianic Community. We're P.O. Box 824, Monroeville, Alabama, 36461. If you care to call us, you may call us at 251-593-3671 or 251-593-3683. You can call. If we're not answering, you can just leave a detailed uh, message and we'll get back with you as soon as our VIA allows us to get back with you or as the Ruach allows us to get back with you. And we will answer you. Amen. If, uh, thank you. if you care to email us, you may email uh, Pastor Apostle Kerry Ghostin. Her email address is Ghostin Pastor. Carrie at gmail.com. Again, that is Ghost and Pastor Carrie at gmail.com. If you care to email myself, I'm Chief Apostle Norman Ghostin. My email address is Jesusman at frontiernet.net. That's Jesusman at frontiernet.net. Uh, we also have ask you to have Bible studies in your homes, have Bible study, bring the family together, and study the scriptures. We recommend that you study the scriptures from Brishet to Revelation or from uh, Genesis to Revelation. Please study, you know, all the word. And ask Yeshua how I'm to give you, uh, uh, to teach you, to lead you, and to guide you. He will teach you and guide you about his word and about his truth. But he wants things for sure, for certainty. He wants us to know him. Amen. He wants you to know him. So he'll teach you. Yes, he will. Okay, we're so sad. He will teach you. You ask him to make say, teach me, Lord. I want to get an understanding of your word. He will give it to you. Amen. Also, uh, 
we ask you to pray with us. We pray uh, every evening at 6 and 9 p.m. We do some special designated time that Yahweh Shua has given us to pray, to bombard him. He will honor those prayers, amen, and by answering them, amen. He will answer the prayers, amen. So pray at 6 and 9. Join us in prayer. So much to pray for. Amen. Uh, this is uh, also like to uh, tell you about the PGJCM discount casket store and the PGJCM Green Burial. If you uh, were located at 4935 US Highway 84, uh, there is uh, the natural burial. You don't have to have a casket. You don't have to be embalmed or do you need a vault. Uh, and the starting price is $777. Uh, give us a call at 251-593-8336. Uh, give us a call and uh, we'll give you more information at that time. Set up an appointment. Come see what we have to offer you. We've got great prices for you. Amen. Save a lot of money. I'm telling you, you're going to come in a time right now when you have to start using your money more wisely because the money system, EBT, and all those things that, you know, are getting ready to dry up. Amen. Everything's getting ready to come to a close. We're in the final chapter. We're in the final hour and final moment. But give us a call. Give us a call. Be Baruch. Love you. In your hand, my little bit.